In aerobic respiration, we have oxygen added to glucose. And in the reaction, we have the formation of ATP molecules, which are the energy carrier molecules required in our body. And we have water and carbon dioxide also released. We know that the formula of aerobic respiration is basically the reverse of that of photosynthesis. We now will look at the detailed process of aerobic respiration as to what happens to the oxygen and the glucose and where does the ATP, the water and the carbon dioxide come from. The first phase of aerobic respiration known as glycolysis occurs in the cytoplasm. So we have a glucose molecule, the word glycolysis. Glyco means sugar, lysis means to split. So that's exactly what happens here in glycolysis is that we have the splitting of the glucose molecule and it splits into two by three carbon molecules known as pyruvic acid. Okay, so the glucose molecule had six carbons. We know the formula is C6H12O6. It now forms two pyruvic acids with three carbons in each of them. In the process of glycolysis, we also have energy being released so in that ADP, adenosine diphosphate, which is a energy molecule that has lost its energy, it will join with the energy and with another phosphate to form ATP, adenosine triphosphate. This ATP is now the energy carrier that can be used later on in the, the cell for its various processes. We have two ATP formed in the process of glycolysis. We also have high energy hydrogen, which is released. The next phase known as the Krebs cycle occurs within the mitochondria. We have the pyruvic acid entering the Krebs cycle. And in the Krebs cycle, we also have high energy hydrogen being formed and we have carbon dioxide gas as a waste product being formed. This carbon dioxide will be released from the body through exhalation into the atmosphere. The inhaled oxygen, which would, was absorbed into the blood, will be used in the next phase, and that is known as oxidative phosphorylation. In oxidative phosphorylation, we require the hydrogens produced during glycolysis in the Krebs cycle. So we have coenzymes that carry the hydrogen to oxidative phosphorylation. And we have this hydrogen then being passed from one coenzyme to another. And in that process, we have ATP being formed, a large number of ATP. And this hydrogen that has lost its energy will then join with the oxygen to form water. Hope you've found this video useful. If you have, please click the like button and the subscribe. And if you have any questions, you may feel free to put them within to the comment section below. Thank you.